As an example of matrix of linear transformation, consider the vector space of set of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to 2 over real numbers. Then the linear transformation between P2 to P2 is given by differentiation. So what we will do? We will basically take any polynomial and its image will be its derivative. So in general we can see that if we have polynomial A0 plus A1x plus A2x square, it will be mapped to A1 plus 2A2x. And we will find its matrix with respect to its basis. Say we take basis 1x and x square. In order to find the matrix of linear transformation, what we do, we will find the image of each t1, tx and dx square. So basically what we have to do, take each element of basis alpha which belongs to the domain vector space and find the its find the image of all the element of basis alpha okay and write in linear combination in beta so d1 is 0 so we can write is 0 times 1 plus 0 times x plus 0 times x square dx is 1 we can write is 1 times 1 plus 0 times x plus 0 times x square and dx square is actually 2x we can write is 0 times 1 plus 2 times x plus 0 times x square so the coordinate of d1 with respect to basis beta will be 1 0 0 coordinate of dx with respect to beta will be 1 0 0 sorry it will be 0 and coordinate of dx square will be 0 2 0 now the matrix of d with respect to alpha alpha both side will be we have to write these coordinates in columns so basically we have to write the coordinate of d1 in columns so we write d00 then we have to write dx in column so we will write 100 and then dx square in column 0 2 0 this is the matrix of linear transformation of d with respect to basis alpha both side we have took the same basis now suppose the same problem with alpha is the same 1x and x square and take beta equals to 1 sorry 1 plus x 1 plus x plus x square we want to find the matrix of t with respect to alpha and beta so what we will do we will again take the elements of alpha and find its image so d1 dx and dx square and it will be again 0 1 and 2 2x and we will write it as a linear combination of beta so what would be 0 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus x plus 0 times 1 plus x plus x square here it will be 1 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus x plus 0 times 1 plus x plus x square and it will be little difficult but you can figure out figure out that this is actually 2 times 1 plus x and in order to compensate this 2 we can write is minus 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus x plus x square so the matrix of t with respect to alpha beta will be write each coordinate in column so it will be 0 0 0 1 0 0 and minus 2 2 0 you can see that if we change the basis the matrix will also change thank you for watching